What's up, YouTube? This is Jim Afanis, a.k.a. Viper Magic, with a little bit of Destiny gameplay footage today. Imagine that. Uh, instead of showing you off some of my mediocre shooting, instead I thought I'd deep dive a little bit into some of the menu system and some of the character customization. I'm playing as a Titan class, and as you can see, uh, right now I can only play as the Striker. And I have a little bit of the skill tree unlocked. Things that are highlighted in blue are things that I currently have unlocked. Things that are in green are things that I'm working towards. You'll notice that there's only a few set of abilities, this Titan Codex being one of them, that actually changes some of your statistics. Most of the other abilities, at least that I've found so far, are solely related to your specific play style. So there are some things that just automatically carry over. For example, the lift and the increased height. You don't choose between the two, you just get them both. So there is some progression and there is some options, a little bit of each. You can see that a little bit better here on the guns. Something I like about this game is that some guns actually have kind of mini skill trees. And the more you use the gun, you can actually unlock different scopes for them or different types of bullets for them or whatever. Here you see that I'm changing my sight. And not only does it change the aesthetics of the gun in the upper right hand corner of the screen, but it actually does have a slight modification on my accuracy. The heavy machine gun, or your, your heavy weapon rather, this, in this case I'm using the machine gun, I have an option between some of the different ballistics that I want to use, which do have an uh, effect on stability. So again, finding a gun you like and customizing it is just one extra little RPG-ish element into the game, and that's actually a pretty cool feature. Some armor as well actually has some upgrades. This particular piece I does not, but on the next one I'm about to show here, you can see that this armor actually gives me more ammunition for my gun. So it doesn't really have anything even to do with armor. And I've actually found some armor that was better, but because at the time I was using that gun and I preferred the extra bullets, I had to make that trade off. And as a gamer, I love that option. I love that it's not always just solely what's the highest damage, what's the highest defense rating, whatever, just give me straight numbers. There is actually a little bit of strategy in determining how your character is built. Because as you can see, your defense rating and then your strength rating and some of these other ratings would, what would kind of determine what your play style would be. So if you like to use grenades a lot, you're going to upgrade things that get you to use grenades faster, and you may be willing to sacrifice your melee attack, for example. So that's just a little bit of the um, overall character screen. Here I'm talking to some random vendors. You can see some of the currencies in the game. Glimmer is the universal currency which carries through all of your characters. Then there's some crucible currency and some other currency, but the thing I was most intrigued about was actually the reputation. So clearly here I understand the developers are teasing us with end game content. I don't even have the repu reputation nor the crucible marks nor the level requirement. They're just kind of showing us some of the cool legendary type gear we can get later on. However, uh, there is going to actually be some reputation grind in this game, which I think is very interesting. Again, coming from an MMO background where I still play a lot of World of Warcraft, this is a pretty common thing where vendors won't even sell to you unless you've done a lot of their quests or grinded dailies or whatever for their reputation. This game appears to be no different. There are some vendors, such as the Shipwright, who it's just straight up money. If you want a different looking ship, go ahead and just buy it and just you know work your way up to saving up the money. I suspect later on, they're not showing it in the beta, but I suspect later on the shipwrights and every character class will have some, or every vendor rather, will have reputation associated with their wares that certain people, you know, if you want the better, like more prestigious items, you're going to have to grind reputation to get that. So I do believe there is going to be a lot of kind of end game grinding or running dailies or missions or whatever you have. 
to kind of get some of the better stuff. Another cool feature of the game is the RPG element as far as the vaults are concerned, where you can actually have a common vault that's shared between all of your characters, and you can find a weapon for your warlock and give it to your titan or whatever. Here I'm showing off some of the gunsmith vendoring. I didn't see anything. I'm sure that this is going to be fleshed out more because the selection of guns was pretty lackluster, to be honest. I obviously would suspect you would find better guns on your own. That's always been a design consideration. And I'm sure that that's true with everything, but the vendor just felt kind of weak, and it just felt kind of like a placeholder. The Crucible Handler, again... You're going to need reputation in order to get something done. Every time I went to him, he didn't have anything for sale. This is the beta. I'm not too worried about it. But it's nice to know that there is going to be what looks to be PvP-based gear against your traditional PvE or player versus enemy-based gear. So there may be different incentives, and you may end up having like almost two different gear sets. I'm not really sure. But... That is a cool idea if they do decide to run with that, or they may just blend them together, and Crucible earned gear may just be a different way to earn gear, and if you were bored of doing the strikes or if you couldn't get a group together, don't know. Hope you enjoyed the video. Just wanted to give some of the behind the scenes, some of the RPG-type elements that are going to be coming out with this game. I cannot wait for it. It cannot be September 9th soon enough. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the other side.